Again, there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord. And Satan came also among them to present himself before the Lord. Is that in your Bible? And the Lord said unto Satan, For whence comest thou? And Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and an upright man, one that feareth God, and the sure evil, and still he holdeth fast his integrity, although thou movest me against him to destroy him without cause. And Satan answered the Lord and said, Skin for skin, yea, all that a man hath will he give for his life. But put forth thine hand now and touch his bone and his flesh and he will curse thee to thy face. The Lord said unto Satan, Behold, he is thy hand, but save his life. Praise the Lord. The topic I want to use today for this message is, the devil has got you where God wants you to be. The devil's got you right where God wants you to be. Wants you to be. There are times the devil come against the people of God and pleasure himself in depressing us and believe that he hears the victim. But in true fact, if we could look through the spirit Jesus. and understand some of what God is doing, we will realize that the devil helps us yes. to be exactly where God wants us to be. Wants us to be. Praise the Lord. I believe that when a man gives his life to God, he must try to understand his God. That's why Brother Paul says, if any lacketh understanding, let him ask of God. Because there are times when God is doing some things in our lives and we spend all night rebuking him. That is true. Using his own blood against him. Yes. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And I'll encourage every man that is going to make this race a success. We must strive to understand how God deals with our lives. That's right. We must understand the way he deals with me. He's not going to be the same way he's going to deal with you. Amen. But we must understand what God is saying and how God is dealing and how God is working through our individual lives. Jesus, Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, it is hard to say, but a lot of us that have been coming from a long time don't really know God. We know there is a God. 
And we know every now and then he does some things. Yes, yes. But to spend some time to know God. Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, Lord. One of the songwriters said, everybody ought to know. Know who Jesus is. Who Jesus is. And where he lives. Yes, Lord. Everybody that is going to be with God, Jesus, Lord, must try to know him. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. When we begin to understand how God works within our lives, it will eliminate a lot of confusion Amen. in the saints' life. A lot of people said, God says, and when you line up what they say God says to his words, it's contrary. Yeah. Because they didn't understand God. That's right. The Bible said, His ways are not our ways. And His thoughts, not our thoughts. David said, His ways are past finding out. That is why we must continue to seek the Lord to know him. Yes, Lord. Amen. I was saying to Minister McLean yesterday that it is strange that David came back and found out that Ziklag was taken. That's right. And not only Ziklag, but his wife was taken. And when his wife was taken, the war became personal. If I went home and somebody asked, took my wife, I'm not going to seek the Lord. I'm just going to find out who took her. <laughs> Praise the Lord. But this David here, a man of war, he went into God and said, God, my wife is out there. Should I go? Somebody keep going to pray. Praise the Lord. You see, David knew God, and, and he knew this. Yes, that yes, yes. Though he is a man of war, yes. well, he couldn't just pick up his sword and go out there. No, no, no. Because if he went out there by himself, God would never give him the victory. That's right, too. But the fact that God said, go get him. Yes, sir. When he went, he was victorious. That is correct. Somebody say amen. Amen. When we begin to understand God, we will understand his ways. He has his ways through the winds. Yes. The earthquake. Yes. He speaks in different ways. That's right. Praise the Lord. He moves in different areas. Amen. Sometimes God does some things and we would never believe that's God. Amen. That is right. That Praise is right. the Lord. That's right. And sometimes some things are done, they look like God. Yeah. But that's not God. Because the devil speaks to. Yes. The song said when we reach the crystal sea, the voices will call. But my Savior's voice. Yes, yes. Somebody just lift your hands to pray the Lord. When we strive to understand God, we will note that there are times that God has some things to do. And because of who he is, God have to command the elements of evil. Praise the Lord. Yes. You see, he have to do that because in him there is no evil. Tell somebody there is no evil in God. 
He has the power to command the elements of evil. But God has no evil within him. That is correct. The Bible said, and God caused an evil spirit from the Lord came up and saw. Now, from the law is different from coming out of the law. Evil is not a part of God's character. But every now and then, God uses it. Somebody say amen. He uses the power of evil because there is no evil in God. Jesus, amen. When he was ready to oppress Israel for what they did, God spoke to the Babylonians. Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah. I'm kind of scared of this God. All right. I praise the Lord. Yeah. And this God that we're talking about this morning, we must fear him. Yes. Because he has the power to step back and command evil. Jesus. And if God ever step back and command you evil, you can't right. be good but evil. Here come my Lord have mercy. Ah, yeah. Somebody glorify him. You know, I can't understand some, some people. Some people, they're not afraid of God. Lord, have mercy. Yes. But if you have the slightest clue of who God is, you will fear him. Reverence him. And never forget that he is God. And he's almighty and all powerful. That's the kind of God. Yes. I don't know about your God, but that's the God I serve. Yes, sir. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Give our chance. Why are we so often? I have to fall on my face and say, help me, God. Yes, to be the boy you want me to. Give all my son. Help me, God. Yes, to stand in these days and times. In the name of Jesus. I don't want God to step back and command evil upon me. Sometimes God. Don't command it. But he see it coming and step back. Yes. Sir. And didn't do anything about it. He just know that. Because because you see the walls around Jerusalem was not the thing that kept them from the enemy. No, no, no. Because God. They were the walls were very high. Yes. Thick. But when they sinned, the enemy found a way in. Yes. But when they lived holy, the enemy couldn't get in. That's right. So the wall was not what protected them. It was holiness unto Amen. God. Somebody clap your hands and say, God. Hallelujah. I'll have mercy. Yes, Lord. I feel a burden in my spirit this morning. Amen. When you come into the house of God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we must not forget our purpose, why we came. Jesus. I didn't come here to school tonight to see who is jumping from who is dancing. 